Lesson two, carbohydrates. Why sugar is poison to your body. All green plants produce carbohydrates, starch and sugar, in their leaves through the action of sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water. Sugar comes in many forms. Sucrose, or common table sugar, is a disaccharide which breaks down during digestion into the simple sugars glucose and fructose. Glucose is the primary sugar in the blood. Fructose is the primary sugar in fruit and high fructose, co fructose corn syrup. Chemical turns ending in O's indicate a sugar. As the body uses glucose for all its processes, it can be said that sugar is essential to life. But the body does not need to ingest sugar or even large quantities of carbohydrates to produce it. Only during the last century has man's diet included a high percentage of refined carbohydrates. Our ancestors ate fruits and grains in their whole unrefined state. In nature, sugars and carbohydrates, the energy providers, are linked together with vitamins, minerals, enzymes, protein, fat, and fiber, the bodybuilding and digestion regulating components of the diet. In whole form, sugars and starches support life. But refined carbohydrates are inimical to life because they are devoid of bodybuilding elements. Digestion of refined carbohydrates calls on the body's own store of vitamins, minerals, and enzymes for proper metabolization. When B vitamins are absent, for example, the breakdown of carbohydrates cannot take place. Yet, most B vitamins are removed during the refining process. Strict abstinence from refined sugar and very limited use of refined flour is good advice for everyone. We must remember that those skeletonized products were virtually unknown in the human diet before 1600 and never used in great quantities before the 20th century. Our physical nature is such that we need foods that are whole, not refined and denatured, to grow, prosper, and reproduce. Scientific evidence against sugar has been mounting for decades. Sugar, especially fructose, has been shown to shorten life in numerous animal experiments. Sugar consumption has recently been cited as the root cause of anorexia and eating disorders. Findings implicate sugar as a causative factor in kidney disease, liver disease, shortened lifespan, increased desire for coffee and tobacco, arteriosclerosis, and coronary heart disease. Sugar consumption is associated with hyperactivity, behavior problems, lack of concentration, and violent tendencies. Last but not least, sugar consumption is the cause of bone loss and dental decay. Moderate use of natural sweeteners is found in many traditional societies. Thus, it is perfectly acceptable to satisfy your sweet tooth by eating fully ripened fruit in season and limited amounts of certain natural sweeteners, high in vitamins and minerals such as raw honey, date sugar, dehydrated cane sugar juice, and maple syrup. Avoid all refined sugars, including table sugar, so-called raw sugar or brown sugar, both of which are composed of about 96% refined sugar, corn syrup, fructose, and large amounts of fruit juice. Most people who are serious about nutrition have learned through experience that sugar and white flour are inimical to good health, and they know how difficult it is to give these things up in a society whose eating habits are based on them. It is relatively easy to replace margarine with butter and refine polyunsaturates with extra virgin olive oil because these fats taste so much better, but sugar and white flour being mildly to severely addictive are harder to renounce. Try replacing white flour products with a variety of properly prepared whole grains and limiting sweets to occasional desserts made from natural sweeteners. It may take time and you will almost certainly have setbacks, but in the end your willpower and persistence will reward you with greatly improved health and stamina.